What's going on my broskies? My name is Toadski back again here to bring you guys yet another One Piece Treasure Cruise video. Just so much news with this latest update. So in this video, we're going to be talking about a new batch of level limit breaks that's going to be arriving. So we know that with the latest stuff in terms of level limit breaks, they've been giving us a lot of free to play units and that does not shy away in this video either. We're going to be talking about some new treasure map characters and there are also some buffs for Rumble Rare Recruits. So I suppose we'll get the bad stuff out the way first because the first Rumble rare recruit is going to be frankie uh look this frankie he's just like really not that good even on release was kind of terrible so hoping he got some good stuff and you see his rumble ability here dex allies level six attack level six speed quick enemies attack down level five like it's it's fine and then just the rumble special here targets enemies with large range damage over time level three and then targets quick type enemies for defense down level six speed down level seven damage over time never has been a good thing i suppose the fact that he's dex you could probably partner it up with like legend magellan but i mean no one's really doing that his resistance he does evade special bind and you know more damage reduction is always nice but you know, this character just kind of sucks he's just terrible the next character that receives level limit break is going to be this leo wicker and cub and once again another character that just basically never really saw play um so he, he you can see here with, the, with his rumble stuff quick teammates level one attack level one hp level uh, one crit it's because i don't have it leveled up but just just know that it's really not gonna be that good you know it's just some standard some standard buffs for for him and then his special ability it does uh target all enemies for a chance of paralysis that does go up at, at higher levels uh, two high defense enemies for defense down and i believe it will be higher levels and then target two high attack teammates for attack up and then strength enemies get speed down like it's just random buffs and, and debuffs and it's just not that good he, he's just a terrible unit that is going to find really really hard time making his way into into quick rumble teams he's just really not that good evading special bind is nice and then damage reduction from strength is obviously good but just the rest of his kit is just kind of terrible but rumble units aside let's get to the really fun part talking about these new free-to-play level limit breaks the first cab off the rank is going to be sabo now when this guy came out he was one of the best treasure map units in the game so let's go ahead and see what he got with his level limit break captain ability wise not too many of these characters are good captains but you'll see here that uh cerebral attack 3.75 1.2 hp recovery recovery slots are matching and then boost the chain multiply growth rate by 1.5x if your hp is 70 percent or above or 30 percent or below uh it, it's pretty good like the chain multiplicative stuff stacking with an attack boost like it will do a lot of damage but like come on like you're not really using this guy as a captain you know you know what i mean uh moving on to a special though which is definitely the more exciting part here where he will heal the crew 15,000 hp reduces attack down by five and then also applies 20 percent cerebral resistance down to all enemies for one turn and if you have a cerebral captain changes cerebral slots or block slots and type slots into matching you get a drastic reduction to enemies defense for two turns which i believe is 80 percent reduction and also you get a two times conditional boost against defense down so that's a good special healing five turn attack down removal resistance down which is great and then block and type slot manipulation and a self proccing defense down conditional boost albeit it doesn't completely remove enemies defense being only 80 percent which can still cause some problems so yeah i think this is a pretty good update you know the fact that they're adding you know more modern buffs and and, and adding additional uh, gimmick removals really big tick in my book i think sabo is a solid unit so definitely a pretty good upgrade the next character on the list is actually gear 4 luffy i remember when this guy came out was an absolute monster a lot of people absolutely loved this character because color affinity really wasn't a common buff back in the day so this character was interesting captain ability wise nothing really too noteworthy still gives buffs to free spirit and powerhouse you know minus one cooldown if you hit all those perfects you can get up to a 5.25 which is respectable for a free-to-play unit and 10 percent damage reduction but moving on to his special which is the more important thing here he now removes defense up damage reduction and damage threshold by three turns uh, you know, that's not the worst, you know, just getting three random debuff removals is actually just kind of neat. And then furthermore, it changes all crew slots, including block, into quick. I think that's a really nice update. Uh, beforehand, it was a random orb shuffle, but he guaranteed his own matching slot. So now he can get a full orb shuffle into guaranteed quick. I kind of like it. 300 times his attack in typeless damage to a single target. And a 2.25 color affinity for two turns. 
Beforehand, I believe it was only a one turn 1.75 color affinity boost. So yeah, just just big numbers across the board. Unfortunately, he doesn't make quick slots matching with his crewmate abilities. So it means, yeah, you get a full board of quick, but you got to still try and make a matching. So I don't like that effect per se. But I think overall, uh, Monkey D. Luffy is a pretty solid unit. The next character is going to be Zoro and Sanji. This is like an old school unit that like essentially never sees play anymore. So I am very intrigued to see what they have in store for this guy. So, Captain Ability reduces Dex and Psy cooldown by two turns at the start of the quest. Fighter and Slasher get minus one cooldown. Dex and Psy get 1.2 health, 5.25 times attack makes dex and psi slots matching, and if the crew applies an attack boost with a special, adds 0.25 to the boost, stackable with other further raising effects. That's a fantastic captain ability, yo. That's actually really, really good. It is unfortunate that it's only attack boosts, but I like this because this is a stackable buff that you can use on top of other, you know, you know, buff buffing effects i suppose is the way to say it so you know other effects you know buff and attack boost this stacks with it like uh, i think yeah versus kaido has a very similar effect to this with his captain ability so this is cool i actually think this is a great captain ability upgrade across the board this is really really good moving on though you have his special where it deals 50 times his attack in typeless damage or in type damage actually so if you're in zora it's going to be dex damage if you're in sanji you're going to be side damage to a single target ignoring all defensive effects then reduces crew's bind duration by six that's actually really good you can use whitey bay on this character too as a support and then boost dex and psy characters orbs by 2.5 for one turn i think that's just pretty good like no real qualms on my end i think this is really good it is unfortunate though because this character doesn't have any buffs to the switch effect where it gives dex and psy slots random random slots and then uh boost the chain multiplier by a plus 0.5 for one turn so again like not the most amazing switch effect out there but i think captain ability and special ability wise this unit's actually really good the final character is crocodile and i think this unit is again another really fascinating upgrade and his character when he first came out saw a little bit of play you know being able to switch into the captain position to get a four times attack boost was actually really good when this character first came out nowadays obviously not as good so let's see what they've got in store for us so he's going to start off as a base four times attack 1.25 health strength decks in a matching and if the character becomes the captain during the quest boost the crew's attack by 5.25 times instead and reduces attack down duration by two turns wow okay that's really strong uh, of course if if you already have attack down and when you switch into the captain position that won't remove attack down so it only removes it while he is swapped into the captain position so when he switched into it and then you're inflicted with it it will work and i think this is actually we'll talk about this in just a moment the special ability uh it does some int damage to a single target reduces special bind by five turns and then boosts the crew's attack by 2.25 for two turns and swaps this character out for the captain for two turns sight in a matching or sight tandem a matching should i say and ruby wow five turns of special bind yo this unit's really good and <laughs> this unit is actually super solid you know what would have been even better for this unit is if you had like the option to say yes or no to become the captain it would have been a nice touch but i like this right because the fact that it switches into the captain position for two turns means you can like use it on a stage prior move into a stage and if the enemy inflicts you with attack down while the preemptive is still active like he is still in the captain position so he can actually remove some of the attack down you're inflicted with and then he becomes the sub again like there's really cool uses for this crocodile this is this is a really good level limit break and i think this is actually going to be a character even i'm not going to use this character that much as soon as he comes out but i think i'm actually going to just pick up the copies and get this guy maxed out straight away because this character just seems super solid and remember crocodile gets access to very good supports too so i think across the board they've actually done a really good job with the level limit breaks for some of these free-to-play characters it is unfortunate that the rumble frankie and the leo are just so disappointing but overall i'm actually pretty impressed look it's a pretty good batch of level limit breaks so i'm looking forward to seeing what else they have planned for us but that is going to wrap it up for me thank you so much for watching the video if you guys enjoyed it make sure to go ahead and leave a like and if you want to stay up to date with all the content i post including more one piece treasure cruise content make sure to hit the subscribe button down below and that guys i'll see you guys within the next video